Hi there, welcome back to Vidvember. It's day 13, it's Sunday today here in Brighton. Looking like a pretty sunny day as well, which is quite nice. So, today I'm going to talk about three tools that I use, three apps that I use on my phone for sort of doing things and monitoring things, okay? So, obviously the hundreds and hundreds of apps you can use, these are sort of three of the main ones I use for just little tools and jobs that I have to do if I want to um, sort of save some time, I have to go to the computer. Um, the first one is Skitch, okay? So, Skitch is an app um, it's owned by Evernote, it's created for Evernote, and it allows you to take a picture of something and then allows you to annotate that picture. So you can put in arrows, uh, you can put in different squares and boxes, and um, you can put in like drawing, writing, and things, and check marks and tick boxes and things. So that's called Skitch. So it's a great little app, it's like a screenshot type app. Uh, it also has a Mac app for it as well, so you can um, use Skitch on your computer and you can sync stuff straight to Evernote. So that's a really cool app. Um, it's perfect if I was taking a picture of something and I wanted to sort of point in the direction, now, say if it's a picture of my bike and there was something wrong, I could put an arrow on it where I was talking about in the picture. Okay, so that's the first one, Skitch. Okay, the next one is Printer Pro, and that is um, an app which basically works from any printer. You don't have to configure your phone or anything, connect to it. You can connect print, Printer Pro to the, if you're on a wireless network, you can find the printer straight away and just print from it. That's Printer Pro. They have a light version and a pro version, and just allows you to sort of resize the images a bit or the things you're going to print. You can resize it in the printer, edit it on the phone kind of thing. You haven't got to worry too much about how it's going to look. You can view it pretty much before it's printed and you can edit the print layout and stuff like that. So that's Printer Pro. Nice little app. Uh, another one is Scannable. I spoke about Scannable before in Evernote video. Scannable is pretty much a scanner. You know, so you can just scan a document, anything you can scan it, save it to Evernote, save it as an image or a PDF and save it somewhere. So that's Scannable. A really good app, I recommend that. Lots of people ask about how to scan things on your phone. Another app I use is Uptime Robot. That allows me to monitor my own site and also my wife's site if the site goes offline. So Uptime Robot is a free um, web monitoring service. Um, they also have that it's for free for sort of the different period of time. I think it's five minutes of those checks on or a minute. You can pay for it and have like um, monitors that are much closer apart. But I can check it from my phone and get alerted on my phone if the site's gone down and I can go through and just view the monitor and see what it is, and I can view my own site and see if the uptime, how long the uptime period it was. And it's pretty good just for monitoring sites. It's a great little app. Um, if you have multiple sites, you might already use something like this, but it's pretty good. If you don't do any site monitoring on your own web business, um, monitor it. Make sure you monitor your sites. You can see what your hosting is really up to and what your host is doing on your server. And another little app I have on here is Speed Test. So it's the same uh, website for speed test allows you to test your wireless, your broadband connection. Now, when I go around working in coffee shops, I can do a quick speed test on their Wi-Fi to see if it's actually any good for what I was doing particularly, but I can use it to check anything. It's great when you're abroad as well, if you're in a hotel and you're trying to do something and the internet's playing up, you can quickly do a quick speed test from your phone to see actually how quick it is. Now, I have obviously lots of other apps that I use for different things. I sync a lot of apps from my phone to my computer, so my Mac syncs with my phone. Things like Google Drive, Evernote, I can do things in any of these apps that I can do on my computer pretty much. And also, I can also find files on my phone. It's, I, if there's something on my computer that I was working on, I can open up uh, Google Drive and I can find that document in there. So a lot of my apps do sync with each other. So it's really handy to have. If you're out and about trying to do something, pull up your phone, you know, open up that app, you could find something, you can share it with someone, if, whatever you need to do with it. But it's very, very good, um, efficient, you know, so you can just sync things between devices, you have access to them anytime you need them, okay? So, obviously lots of apps like that. We all got apps on our phones, probably too many. But anyway, that's it for today. Little tip, back tomorrow with another um, Vidvember, so please share this on social media. Any questions, comments, email me or post anything below, and I'll be back soon.